Did you know that sharks are actually older than trees? Yeah, we might think of them as the scary predators, but they're actually one of the most mysterious animals. There's over 530 species of sharks, but what's crazy is that around 100 of those are still poorly understood. Some species have names, scientists know they exist, but what's unsettling is that there are no confirmed photos or recordings of them. Now, what are the reasons behind that? Well, deep oceans, the depth of the ocean, that is, and the amount of water on Earth. You see, deep sea exploration is still in its early stages. We've explored less than 10% of the global ocean floor in detail. We really don't know what lies down there and why it's so mysterious. It's kind of funny when you think about it because we've made more progress exploring outer space, even though it's billions of times bigger than our own oceans. Before I talk about sharks again, let me give you a few reasons on why it's so difficult to explore the deep ocean. First, the extreme pressure. As you go deeper, water pressure increases significantly. We'll use PSI, pounds per square inch, as our measure. At the surface, the pressure is about 15 PSI. The Titanic rests at around 4,000 meters down, where the pressure is about 5,500 PSI. But in the Mariana Trench, the deepest known point on Earth, at around 11 kilometers down, the pressure reaches roughly 16,000 PSI. It's like having 50 fully loaded 18-wheeler trucks pressing on you from all sides. Then you got the total darkness. There's no sunlight. It literally gets pitch black down there. After that, it's freezing. As you go deeper, the water gets way too cold, corrosive and highly salted. And that damages the tech equipment. The final reason, it's expensive. And very tough to access. I mean, you can point a telescope at Mars from Earth, but you can't really point some sensor through the ocean easily. Right, back to sharks. One of the earliest known shark-like species is Clado Selaki, which lived about 370 million years ago. It likely evolved from Acanthodians, early weird jawed fish with features of both bony fish and those with cartilage. Oh my god, these names. Clado Salachi? Clado. Clado Salat. Acanthodians? Acanthodians? Based on scientific reconstructions of this shark, I gotta say, this guy looked pretty decent. Like, he, he doesn't look that old or aged. He was way ahead of his time, honestly. Let me take a look at how big he was. Two meters? Not bad. I mean, that could fit in some sort of bowl. However, the Clado Selaki went extinct at around 360 million years ago. As time passed, evolution got creative, and a wave of absurd shark species came and went. Many with strange fins, eel-like bodies, or mismatched features, but most didn't last. Fast forward to about 125 million years ago, and the most bizarre, strange, and distinctive species of shark appeared in the darker regions of the ocean. I don't even know how to describe it. It's the goblin shark. With its long, flat snout, translucent skin, and those jaws, yes, it's, it's real. And it still exists today. The goblin shark is what scientists call a living fossil. It hasn't changed much since it first showed up. That's because the deep sea is an ideal environment for unusual shark species due to its extreme and stable conditions. The food is scarce. There's no sunlight, which means no plants and no photosynthesis. It's basically survival of the fittest. Because of that, many deep sea sharks have a super slow metabolism. They move slowly, grow slowly, and they eat rarely. The deep sea also doesn't change much. No seasons, no storms, nothing happens basically. So weird traits stick around for millions of years. A few other weird sharks include the frilled shark, which is an ancient eel-like shark with a long flexible body. It first appeared at around 80 million years ago, and thank god it's rarely seen, because this thing has over 300 teeth, but arranged in rows. Then you have the lantern shark, a small deep-sea shark with bioluminescent organs along its belly. 
Now these glowing patches actually help them camouflage from predators by matching the faint light coming from the surface above. It's also used to attract prey or communicate with other sharks. But here's the deal. Like imagine you're down there, over a thousand meters deep, where it's pretty much total darkness. And all of a sudden you just see this, a faint little light coming from the darkness. Someone should probably make a horror game around that concept. And if you do decide to take that idea, at least send me $20. You also have the ghost shark. It's not a true shark, but closely related. They have smooth, scaleless skin and long tapering tails. You'll usually find them below 500 meters, if you decide to venture down there. As the name suggests, they literally look like a ghost. There's also the extremely rare Megamouth shark, with less than 100 confirmed sightings. It's not a predator, it uses its massive mouth to filter feed on plankton and jellyfish. And it kind of looks like it's always surprised. When it comes to sharks, there are many more strange and fascinating species out there. But these are some of the most mysterious and rare ones. The truth is, we still don't really know what else might be hiding in the deep ocean and its trenches. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching and bye.